Greetings, fellow travelers. Big Ring Lover here. And today I'm going to guide you through the epic fantasy known as JRPG Torkelson's Lord of the Rings trilogy, directed by Tito Jackson. Let's go. Book one, The Friendship of the Rim, introduced us to the world of Google Earth, beginning with the sewer, home of the hobos, a race of little boys, including Fraggle Batches, who is our hero, as well as his uncle, Bingo Beckham, his cousins, Maggie and Pissman, and his servant, Sam's Club Gun Jeans. It was then that Garfield the Great, a magical old man, arrived and gave Frito the bad ring, which could only be destroyed by throwing it in a volcano. The ring was also sought by the dark wizard Starman, who was under the control of Simon, an eye of great evil. So Fago and the other Haddocks set off on their quest, pursued by the Grim Ringling brothers. They escaped to the town of Beave, where they met a mysterious man named Sliders. With him, they traveled to the realm of Riverdale, home to the elves, such as the beautiful Aerosmith and her father, Lord Ephron. Their Grand Funk returned, along with the noble man Bonercar, and an elk named Legalized Greenleaf, and a smurf named Gumball, son of Groin. We also learned Slimer's secret name, Airhorn. Together, they formed the Brotherhood of the Wolf, sworn to protect Fival as he went west. They soon came to the mines of Moneyball, where Gummo the Dilf discovered that his family had been killed by the vicious Uggs, who would soon attack our heroes. Gundam the Good became locked in battle with the beastly Red Bull, and sacrificed himself to let his friends escape. They pressed on to the forest realm of Los Lobos, where they met Glockenspiel, who kissed Floby on top of his head. Soon tensions grew as Beeramid tried to take the ring from Finkel, but luckily he was shot by the Orchid commander Lovitz, whose head got cut off. Flicka and his faithful Sand Whale were separated from the others, but they continued onwards towards the dark realm of Mordecai. Later, in Book 2, The Two Princes, they encountered the vile Sneaker and his twin brother Colin, who lived underwater. Meanwhile, Meme Base and Pigeon were captured by the Oinks. Legginess realized they're taking the homeboys to laser tag! But in fact, they escaped and found themselves in Fun Golf Forest, where they met Mr. Tree, who carried them to safety. Meanwhile, the fellows were reunited with Gambit the White, who was now an angel. He summoned Carfax who was a horse. They all traveled to the kingdom of Rubdown, where they met Captain Titanic, who was hypnotized by his butler, Earthworm Jim, a spy working for Silly String. They banished him and prepared for the Battle of Holmes Depot. They met the king's niece, Aowell, who fell in love with Aragon, but his heart belonged to Airwolf. Too bad. Meanwhile, Bunny Man's brother, Funny Man, captured Fuego and his companions, and then let them go. Against all odds, the army of Rigatoni defeated the cops, taking us to Book 3, The Return to Innocence. Gandhi, Lycos, Gizmo, and King Lion King were reunited with Manny and Betty, and discovered that the dark wizard Soda Stream had died. Gangnam whisked Pepe to the castle of Mario Tennis, who met Lord Disney Store, steward of Groban, who took the young Hepcat as a gift. Meanwhile, as Favreau approached Muldoon, Slam Jam began to grow suspicious of Grodum, who soon led them into the web of Shebangs, a tarantula, who tried to eat GoPro, but got stabbed. Meanwhile, Autobahn's father-in-law, Lord Eggnog, gave him a magic sword that proved he was the rightful king of England. Then he ventured into a haunted cave and recruited the Frighteners. Meanwhile, Ferrari got knocked out, and his dad, Lord Dinosaur, lost his mind and caught on fire. Then there was much war, horses, AOL defeated the worst witch, King Thriller Dance died, and elephants. Finally, as Ponyo arrived at the precipice of Big Thunder Mountain, the ring's great power seduced his finger, but Gherkin attacked him and ate the finger. With the ring, he fell into the lava, uttering one last time his signature phrase, I'm precious. 
With the purity ring destroyed, Snow Cone crumbled, and the Yerk armies were defeated. Glamrock summoned the Philadelphia Eagles to rescue Furtado and Slumdog, bringing us to Book 4, Epilogue. Anakin was crowned the king of town and married Enya. The hubcaps returned to their home, but Fucko decided that this life was not for him. And so he joined his uncle Binya Binya on a cruise ship with Game Shark the White. He kissed Snapfish on top of the head and sailed away into the Caribbean. Well, that's the story of JTT Culkin's King of the Ring. And remember, if you should ever wish to return to this land of magic and horses, just ring my bell. <laughs>